So one of the most common questions I get on this app, how do they drill sideways? How do they take pipe and turn it and just go that way? And I think one of the problems is, is these illustrations like the one behind me here. If you look down here, you see this, this well is drilled down and then it's a fairly sharp turn to the horizontal section of the well, which is the section underneath me that runs this way. That's not what it looks like in real life. That's just for illustrative purposes. It doesn't actually look anything like that. No. It looks a little more like this. Um, the, your curve or your build section is a lot longer and more gradual than what is shown on those illustrations. Now, where you start to drill your curve or the build section is most commonly known in the industry. That's called the kickoff point. So the kickoff point would be up here. And then down there, when you get to 90 degrees, that's your landing point. And this curve that you're looking at, this very gradual curve, anywhere from, I don't know, eight to 1200 feet in length, that's how gradual that curve is. It does not look like you see in the illustrations. And for people that still have a hard time imagining pipe you know, going at 90 degrees and, and just bending like that. Let me give you an example, another example, a photo, if you will. Because if you take something long enough and you pick it up on one end, it's going to bend. So behind me, what I'm fixing to show you is a hundred feet long. That's all it is. It's only a hundred feet long. Remember these build sections, 800 to a thousand, 1200 feet long. Look at this. That is pipe bending to 90 degrees, only a hundred foot section. Yeah. So you can imagine with a thousand foot, that would be super easy. So how do they control this curve and, and how do they get it just right? How do they know where they are in the well? Like they're just a mile down in a hole. How do they know they're doing this correctly? Like they can't see it. Can they? So when you drill a well, this horizontal section that goes this way, you typically, not typically, always, you always want that part of the well to go a specific direction. Maybe it's east, maybe it's northeast, you know. There's a specific azimuth that you want that to go directionally. So your point of reference for azimuth is true north. So you start at true north, and if you wanted you know, it to go so many degrees northeast, you want the well to go that way. Measurement while drilling tools down hole can tell you your azimuth as you're drilling. It can also tell you your inclination. The inclination is the degree of your curvature through the well. And that's very important because basically how much weight you put on the bit, um, the RPMs, of your bit at the end of your motor, at the end of your drill string, all of that, um, even the mud in your well, uh, impacts the curvature of your build system or build section. And if you put too much weight, if you have too much speed at the bit, any of those things aren't just right, you can get your inclination off. You, you can either go this way or this way. Like it, it's a pretty precise deal. Now, with all that being said, with today's technology, it's actually not that complicated. It's not that complex. Like, pretty much computer software runs the whole damn thing. Back in the day, back in the day, guys were using calculators and actually doing math. That's, I don't think that's really a thing anymore. So, once again, pipe can absolutely bend at 90 degrees over a long enough section. Pretty, pretty easily, actually. And the fact that we have perfected this technology where we can drill down and drill these long horizontal sections is was a technological revolution for the oil and gas industry in the United States. It is why we are the number one producer of oil and gas in the world. 
So let me explain why. Back in the old days, the only thing we could do was drill straight down. And if you look at this curve at the bottom of this well, that geology there, that's where the oil is, right? So if you can only drill straight through that, then you can only expose your well to that vertical section that goes through that zone. And and the area around <clears throat> that very specific spot right there is all of the oil that you can get. It's all of the oil you have access to. But now that we can drill horizontally through the entire geological section through the pay zone, this is the equivalent of having, I don't know, 20 wells in one well because we are drilling a hole through the entire hydrocarbon bearing section horizontally instead of vertically. And this gives us access to easily 10 times more oil and gas from each well than we would have gotten before. This is the reason the United States is the number one producer in the world. This is the reason that, along with renewable energy, is the reason we are more energy independent than we have been in 70 years. Thanks.